Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Reagent C unable to update WinRe boot configuration data. It is a quick and easy tutorial, so let's dive into it. Start by clicking on the search bar at the bottom of your screen, type CMD, and when it is visible, choose Run as Administrator to gain full control. Now go ahead and click on Yes. When the command window is open, proceed to type Reagent C space slash info, precisely as demonstrated to query if the recovery environment is enabled or disabled. Press Enter to continue. Now, we must locate the recovery partition. Right-click on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen and choose Disk Management. Here you will see a list of partitions. One of the smaller ones is Disk 0, is likely to be the recovery partition. If you wish to talk to it, return to Command Prompt and type Disk Part. Execute the following commands in order. List Disk, select Disk 0, List Part, and then select the recovery partition from the list. To make this partition accessible, you'll need to assign it a drive letter. Do this by typing assign letter F, for example. I won't do that, but after that, navigate to the Windows Recovery folder by entering cd recovery slash Windows RE, and inside this directory, locate the winre.wim file. In others, you can find it in C Recovery Windows RE or in the Windows Recovery folder. Having established its exact location, set the real image path by running reagent C space slash set reimage space slash path space B double slash recovery double slash Windows Re and then space slash target space C colon double slash Windows. Replace F with the drive letter you specified above. Now, re-enable the Windows recovery environment by running reagent C slash enable, and then verify everything is set up correctly with reagent C slash info. Lastly, to keep the recovery partition concealed, remove the drive letter that was allocated by running remove letter B in disk part. And that's it. With these processes complete, your system's recovery functionality should be fully restored and ready whenever you need it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and click on that notification bell to never miss an update.